Welcome to our training on how to change or remove a pricing rule. If you have a professional selling plan, you can use the Automate Pricing tool to adjust your prices quickly and automatically. This can help your offers remain competitive within your set price limits. In certain cases, you may want to change one of the pricing rules you've created, move SKUs to a new pricing rule, or pause, resume, or delete a pricing rule. In this video, we'll show you how to complete these tasks and check the price history for SKUs you've already enrolled in Automate Pricing. Let's start by changing a pricing rule. Select the menu icon in the top left corner of Seller Central. Hover over Pricing and select Automate Pricing. To edit a rule on the Automate Pricing Tools page, find the rule you'd like to change and review its description in the Rule Summary column. Select the drop-down menu in the Rules Action column and click Edit Rule Parameters. If you're modifying a predefined pricing rule, you can select Edit SKUs. Or, if you have an inactive rule, you can select Set Up. From here, you can edit your rule the same way as when you first created it. For example, you can add or remove quantity discount tiers and choose the percentage off discount for each quantity. When you're ready to save your rule changes, select Save This Rule in Amazon.com and we'll apply the repricing rule parameters on all SKUs in the rule. If you'd like to assign more SKUs to or remove any from the rule, click Proceed to SKU Selection to apply and save your changes. The Manage SKUs page is where you can move one or more SKUs to a new pricing rule. You can find the Delete option within the same drop-down menu you'd use to pause or resume a rule. A new window will appear and prompt you to confirm your choice to delete the pricing rule or choose to pause it instead. Keep in mind that you won't be able to access any past records of the rule once you delete it. We recommend checking the pricing history for Automate Pricing Enrolled SKUs and reviewing why the prices changed. To view your price history, select the same drop-down menu in the Action column that you'd use to pause, resume, or delete a SKU. Then choose Edit SKUs. Locate the SKU for which you'd like to see the price history, select the drop-down menu in the Action column and choose View Pricing History for the SKU. The Response column lists price changes applied by the Automate Pricing tool, and the Trigger column lists events that influence them. These events can also include reasons why automated pricing was stopped, such as a manual price update, or changing a SKU from active to inactive. Use the Date Range fields to select start and end dates between which you'd like to review pricing changes and reasons for the SKU you selected. You can view up to 30 days of price history for any SKU with an active sales-based pricing rule. If a SKU is inactive, it won't appear in your list. If you'd like to review your inactive listings, select the menu icon in the top left corner of Seller Central. Hover over Inventory and select Manage Inventory. Note that if a listing is set to inactive, any pricing rules that apply to the listing will remain paused until you set it to active again. Now you can use the Automate Pricing tool to change or remove an existing pricing rule and review pricing changes. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.